In this video, I just want to show you the new feature of Godot 4.5, that is the stencil, and how to work uh, with this. Uh, in this first example, I am using this sphere as a mask. I am just uh, writing in the stencil buffer. And if I change the visibility, you can see the that part of the object disappears because I am writing with the spheres and I am reading in the geometry in the same channel. So there is a code effect right here. And if I change that option to compare equal, um, the effect is inverted as you can see. And it's very easy to use. The next example is the classic one, is the boat on the water. And as you can see, the geometry is not colliding. And that is because I am using the sensing mask. If I change the channel, so you can see now the water is inside the boat. So I am using a surface as a mask, a surface in, in the boat. I can use the whole geometry as you, you're going to see the example here. So I am just uh, putting a color here in the standard material. And this is the part I am using. I can use the whole geometry because the effect is very weird. You have to check by yourself with your own geometry. Um, yeah, I am using just the custom, the stencil, this stencil section with the custom and the flag is right, as you can see. So I am going to disable this uh, and put the channel one and now it's working. This next example is a blur effect using the stencil mask. And I am using the quad technique, putting it in front of the camera and just applying an effect of blur. Uh, you can see here, here is the blur effect. And the important part is I'm just reading from the stencil mask. And the objects are writing in the stencil. So I am using just the standard materials I am writing here. With this, I can stop writing and you can see the blur is gone. Uh, maybe there is a, a little weird, a weird effect. I have to change the channel and write anyways. So yeah, the blur is gone in that specific part. Um, as you can see, it's, uh, it's quite easy to work with the stencil.